So FaceTime was just released for the Mac. If you'd like to download it, I'll have a link to download that in the description on Apple's website. But I thought I'd go ahead and give you guys a demo of this. It's going to allow you to FaceTime from Mac to Mac, Mac to the iPhone 4, and even Mac to the iPod Touch 4. So I'm really excited to try this out and give you guys a little demo of it. Let's go ahead and set it up. I'm going to let my girlfriend FaceTime with me and she's going to be using my iPod Touch while I'm on the Mac. So before we start our call, uh, let's go ahead and show you what the FaceTime app for the Mac actually looks like. Uh, so here we go. We've got it open. Uh, we have a Favorites tab. We've got a Recents tab. And we have a Contacts tab. What this is going to do is automatically going to go ahead and sync up your contacts with the FaceTime app. So you don't have to go in there and manually make a little buddy list or anything. It's automatically going to go ahead and do it for you. It allows you to FaceTime email addresses or phone numbers because you know with the iPod Touch 4th generation, uh, you do have to FaceTime email addresses. You don't actually have a phone number with it. Again, as I was telling you before, it lets you FaceTime from the Mac to Mac, uh, Mac to the iPod Touch, and Mac to the iPhone 4. So let's go ahead and try this out. I've got some favorites set up here. I've got Alyssa, Grayson, and Tom Also, I'm going to go ahead and actually FaceTime myself uh, on my iPod Touch 4, but we're going to be chatting with my girlfriend here to try out the quality of this. So we're going to go ahead and FaceTime her. She's ready to go now. We're going to go ahead and click on my favorite, so it's automatically going to call the email address. Should be ringing right, here so in just a accept. second. And there we go, we see her. Hey. Hi. So she's recording uh, the iPod Touch. So you can move me around just like you would be able to on the iPod Touch. It's kind of actually messed up. It looks here. There we go. Uh, so if you rotate it in landscape or portrait, it's going to follow along with it as you see. Uh, there we go. You can actually even put it in full screen mode. Let's see if we can see if we can do this. Put it in full screen. Go ahead and turn it uh, sideways. I'm going to put it in full screen. Okay, it just turns on us. There we go. And full screen so there we go that's FaceTime uh, on the Mac it looks pretty nice the quality looks pretty decent when I put it in full screen it doesn't look as good uh, this is using the iPod touch fourth generation camera uh, so I'm expecting the uh, iPhone camera to be just a little bit better obviously uh, but do you can you hear me good Gray? yep I can hear you fine so the audio sounds pretty good there's our little monkey boo everybody likes him uh, he's messing up his cage <laughs> the bottom of it uh, so that's about it we can I can mute it uh, it's, basically all, it's basically just like uh, FaceTiming on the iPhone and iPod Touch, except now we can do it with Mac. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is going to definitely revolutionize video chatting and, and video calling on the iPhone and iPod Touch. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Are you going to be using this? If you want to go ahead and try it out, I have a link in the description below. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button above the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.